Hey gang, good morning. Thought you guys would like to know a little update on the RV. We're southbound on 95. Actually, we're Sharon and I are driving separately. Um, just going to give this motor a little bit more break in. Aaron, the uh, mechanic that worked on it, of course, said you don't really need to do that. Um, but we already did this time. But I'm just this guy that doubles things up. So Sharon and I are driving separate to our next location, which is in Lakeland, so about 160 miles away. So not that big a deal. It gives the motor a little more time to break in without the extra loads on it and everything, towing the Colorado behind. But really what I want to talk to you guys about is some of the other quick things. This is just kind of a public service announcement. Just kind of let you know some quick things we did to the RV up to this point. And there's going to be some upcoming videos on this detailing this, okay? Class A motorhomes handle horribly unless you get some big gas, I mean, should be diesel pusher, mule coach, airbags, all that stuff. But gassers, this is a gas motor, they call them gassers. Horrible, horrible. They've, they've been that way for years. I've owned others and they, you know, they rock and roll, they deep, they dive, they do all kind of stuff. They ride horribly. What I did to this is I put bigger sway bars on it. It comes with inch and three quarter steel sway bars in the front and back. Inch, I mean, inch and three eighths. I put inch and three quarter chrome molly sway bar in the front, double inch and three quarter sway bars in the back, and also I've got new Bilstein shocks on here. I'm getting ready to put a second set of Bilsteins on and double them up in the corners. Even without that second set of Bilstein shocks, this coach handles so much better. Balance the tires properly, run good proper air pressure in your tires, um, and you will, and sumo springs, excuse me, I also have sumo springs, and I did that early on in the process. So all of those things together, phenomenal handling. Now that's for my coach, every coach is different. Um, the length of the coach, the chassis setup, all of that matters, how much weight you're carrying, all of that matters. So don't take that as gospel, but know that those products are out there to have your coach handle so much better. But evaluating the coach, first of all, and seeing what you need to do, are you porpoising a lot? Are you rolling a lot? Are you getting a lot of push from tractor trailers as you go down the road? All that stuff matters. So I'm gonna be doing some upcoming videos. I gotta really show you what we did, physically get you up underneath the coach, show you what we did, why we did it, how these things work. Um, and then maybe that gives you some better idea as to what you can do to your coach. Um, and these, this applies to class C, some of the very class C's, all of that stuff. So, you know, at the end of the day, you get a little bit of improvement and it's a little bit more comfortable to drive. I'm driving with one hand right now and you can pretty much take your hand off the steering wheel and she stays pretty dang straight. So and she doesn't, you know, bounce around a lot and everything. So anyway, just a little public service announcement. We appreciate you guys watching our channel. Always feel free to comment below. Give us a like and subscribe. It really helps boost our numbers. I'm trying to really kind of work that and work on that so we get um, a lot of folks that we can talk, chat with and everything. So Sharon and I are always appreciative of when you guys do that. And just say hi to us if you want to, okay? All right. Have a fantastic day. And the next stop is Lakeland with Tracy and Phil. And we are going to have a phenomenal week and we're going to bring you guys along. All right?